Hey guys, so in this video we'll be looking at social influence and what that means for us specifically with the mere presence theory. So social influence is kind of like this greater topic and a subtopic of that uh, that we'll be looking at today is social facilitation. Social facilitation is basically just um, what we see when the presence of others enhance performance. So you do better at something with people around you. So for example, Triplet uh, in 1898 uh, showed that um, cyclists recorded faster times when they were against other people, other cyclists, than when they were by themselves. Why is it such an old study? It's kind of sentimental because it's one of the first uh, social psychology studies that were actually scientific. But anyway, it showed that uh, presence leads to uh, facilitation. Okay? That's uh, all we need to know at this point. However, then we have Pessin at 1993 coming in, showing that participants memorize lists better alone than in front of an audience, showing that the presence of others actually is hindering performance. So what he did here was give people um, kind of nonsense syllables like XYL or um, YLP or something and got them to memorize them by themselves in front of others and they f he found that they did worst um, in front of other people showing that here presence leads to inhibition okay so you see here we've all of a sudden got these two uh, um, found findings that are kind of uh, in conflict with each other until we got to 1965 and this guy called Zions came up with the mere presence theory. And this is the first of the social facilitation theories. So he kind of explained both the triplet study and the peasant study, both the social facilitation and the inhibition as a uh, result of the presence of others. A good way to illustrate it is Michaels et al. In, at 1982. So he took a, a bunch of good basketball players and a bunch of bad ones and gave them two conditions, one with an audience and one without, and showed that the good players sunk more balls with an audience and the bad players sunk less. Okay? Showing that you with the presence of others you can get both facilitation and presence. Now in the words uh, of Zions and uh, the actual mere presence theory it looks something like this. So presence actually leads to this arousal. Not that arousal, a drive, some sort of activation. It's this arousal that can lead to facilitation or inhibition, i.e., remember, doing well or doing badly at this task, if it's easy or well learned, like if you, if you already know that skill well, or if it's hard, it leads to inhibition. Okay? That's it. Okay, and next time we're going to be looking at another social facilitation um, theory. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.